we going today? We are going to pick up some more hay for our hungry goats and making a honey delivery at the same location because that's how it works. We give them honey, they give us hay, and we work it out together. Sugar yep. boards on a lot of them a week or two ago. Um, but with the mild weather, it's, they're doing good. But they're eating through all their food. These ones are at the top, but they're still good. No, they're so good. I think these ones are dead. Ooh, these ones are good, but they're right at the top. What does, what, is there something bad about them being at the top? Uh, they only move up to get food. So if there's food on the bottom, oh, they, they can't go back down to get them. So I got to throw sugar boards on them. So oh. they, they have food above them. And then they eat the sugar that's left until spring gets okay. there. That doesn't necessarily mean all the food on the bottom has gone. No. They just... they just... Once it gets cold, they can't move down because all their heat goes up and it warms up the honey above them. So they just keep working their way up. Okay. They can spread out a bit once they get to the top. But they can't move down at all. So I, I hate losing them when they just run out of food. Oh, those are good. Very lot to use in that one. See those? Those are good. That one's good. So what, one dead one? No, they're still in there. I think it's a small cluster now. That's every single one.
yard today listening to all the hives and so far it looks like a hundred percent survival rate which is absolutely fantastic if all of them are able to make it through that'll be the first year I've had all of them survive in a single yard which is almost unheard of but it goes to show the strength of the bees that we've been working on breeding and putting together to, to make strong Michigan winter bees. Uh, we'll just have to get some sugar boards on the hives that are getting light to make sure they got enough food until April gets here because that's still another two months away and we don't want to lose hives just because they ran out of food because that's something we can actually address and take care of for them. But really exciting. Pushing That's probably plenty of molasses for the goats. It doesn't even taste good. <laughs> they love it though. I don't. You want to know if you put it? Nope, that's good today. Okay. Just molasses and paddly stuff. It's herbal dewormer. Herbal dewormer. Yeah, try to keep their parasites down, try to keep them healthy. I know the person is friends with, but not parasites. Yeah. We have a little time before Bruce's birthday party uh, to get some farm stuff done, so. Uh, Bruce and Jack are helping get a pallet out to the barn. Hi, you guys. Um, probably this corner, because if the chickens roost here, then they'll poop on it. Yes, please. What'd you say? It's kind of gross. Yeah, I'm going to clean I out spices. Oh, that's the herbal. When we got home, Friday night with the hay it was too dark and it's still too even though things are kind of frozen right now it's still too wet to take the truck back to the barn so we had to cover it um because the farmer had it covered we don't want to we don't want a repeat of last time with me getting it moldy so we had it covered and um, now we'll take it take a bunch of trips take it back
mean, you can you can help with these if you want. They're just a lot heavier than the straw. Have more straw? Yep. Okay. Which was here before. Just so. All right. Here you go. Um, no, because I'm going to measure okay. them. That could stay here. We good? What you finishing up, Carly? The first birthday cake. Way easier than lifting all that hay. <laughs> Thank you. Got like an hour until people are here, so. Mm -hmm. 